Hey guys, Vaping Gal Philly here with another Anokin review for you today. This one is on the Lily. This is their newest um, product for women. Um, there's four different color arrangements. Uh, you can get black with red, uh, blue with black, green with white, I believe, um, like this, and then the pink uh, with the mauve and white on the um, on the battery. So um, I did pre-record a breakdown of the uh, of the Lily, and uh, let's take a vape and then go down and check it out, and we'll come back up and we'll talk. Okay, so here we are with the breakdown of the Lily. Um, when you get your box, it comes with a user's manual. It comes with a uh, USB uh, charger, which you would take your device apart. Screw the battery on as such and you would plug it into a USB type device or a wall charger that has a USB port on it which is my recommendation. Um, I always recommend that you charge from the wall not from your computer. Um, computers have... there's been complaints of batteries exploding um, when charging them on computer. So this is the actual element. You get four of them in the package when you get them and the caps on these are not sealed shut um, and I'll kind of explain that in just a second here um, okay so let me pull this off and we'll talk about the cartridge um, I forgot to get some juice to put in here because um, I came out with a tricky idea um, these are, are meant to be disposable uh, cartridges. However, I have I got this Brainiac idea when I was uh, messing with this yesterday. So um, you can refill these. I did it yesterday twice because um, they don't hold a lot of juice in them. As you can see, they're kind of small. But they have holes in the top that are punctured from the top of the atomizer here where, where the heating element is at. So if you put a syringe or if you have a needle nose bottle that is small enough, you can refill that, um, which is what I just did there. And then on the inside there is prongs. You just make sure that those prongs are lined up with your cartridge boom, your cartridge is back on and it is back in business. Um, it comes with two different tip styles, uh, or not tip styles, the tip is always the same. However, um, the cartridge covers are different. One is more girly and has pink rhinestones, the other one does not. So you just simply put that back on over the top and boom, you are back in business. Um, the, this is a 350 mAh battery, so it's not going to last you forever. Um, and probably about four hours if you are not consistently, if you're chain vaping it, it's not going to last four hours. Um, but it'll last you a little while. It's good for going out. It's good for being in the car. Um, I do, one of the pluses I like, actually two of the pluses I like, when you are pushing the button, it glows green. When the battery is starting to die, it glows yellow, and when it is dying, it is red um, on the bottom. It has an actual lily that lights up. I thought that was kind of cool. Um, I like the design. I like the girliness of it. Um, however, um, there are some things I do not like about this device. I do not like the cartridges. I think that these cartridges are taking a step back in vaping. Um, there is better uh, cartridge devices out there um, and such as like the you know even a simple CE4 tank um, is a little bit more effective um, in t the way that things are today. Um, so that is a definite negative. It is a step 
back as far as ingenuity and um, considering uh, Anokin is known for ingenuity um, you would think that they would have used something different in that however it is functional um, and you know it is what it is but um, for what this device is it's a pretty good device the other thing I do not like and I will show you on this one um, is the drip tip uh, the drip tip has a little bit of a different feel. It's kind of like a lipstick tube and it has O-rings on here and it is very difficult to push on and off. Uh, I think for cleaning purposes it, it's kind of hard <sighs> there we go to get on there. Um, and for somebody who is like myself who likes to clean things uh, as they are, are renewing their device to be used again I, I kind of have a problem with that. It's a little too hard. And again, this is kind of an old school concept with the uh, with the drip tip. Most drip tips screw down in, not push on top. Um, so that is a little bit of a negative. Um, but yeah, let's go back up top. I will tell you about what I think of the vape and uh, we will go from there. Okay guys, so as you can tell, I did break down the lily for you. I hope that was helpful. Um, it's got some pluses and it's got some minuses on this thing. Aesthetically, it looks beautiful. Um, and I'm really entranced with this lily flower that uh, when you vape it, it comes up. I do like the um, function on the button where as the battery is going down in life, it does uh, go from green to yellow to red like the other Anokin products have done, um, such as the, the MVP2 and the MVP Shine. The, that series has that same feature in the button. Um, the downsides to this, I do think that they could use something different than this particular um, cartridge. Uh, I kind of feel like it's a mixture of a clear miser and a cardo tank and I kind of think that that's a little outdated for um, the users uh, that are coming into the market. Um, most people use eco batteries and some kind of CE4 or, or the like or they start out with the uh, um, MVP even. Um, so to me it's great for on the go if you're not going to be gone long. The battery life is about three and a half to four hours if you are consistently using it. Maybe a little bit less if you are in Philadelphia traffic because you will be chain vaping. Um, but you know, it, it is what it is intended for and that is a new user. Um, for an advanced user that just wants something light and portable to take with them, not so much. Um, but I hope that you found this helpful. Please make sure you subscribe, leave a comment, let me know what you think, and until next time, vape on, vape strong, and have a great day.